Hi everyone, I'm Maya Washington and welcome to Gronish The Kickback, where we get to dig deep into the latest episode of Gronish. Today I'm joined by cast members Francia Raisa and Trevor Jackson, who play Anna and Aaron, and executive producer Jenny Henry. Hey. Welcome! Thanks for joining me. Let's start things out with a quick game of Gronish superlatives. Just like the classic high school yearbook, you'll hand out superlatives to the characters. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Most likely to be catfished. Vivek. Yeah. Catfish? Good answer. Mm, I think that seems <laughs> most appropriate. Most likely to miss graduation. Mm. Luca. <laughs> yeah. James. Most likely to be on a reality show. I see Zoe. I'd say Nomi. Really? I see Zoe. I see Vivek again. Yeah, I'd say Zoe. I'd say Zoe, yeah. Yeah. I think she's the most full of her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. Good job, guys. All right, so now let's dive into the latest episode. There's been so much buildup with Nomi coming out. What was the reason behind that? I think, you know, we have a, a couple of um, people on our staff who've actually come out to their parents and really, they were like, it kind of was a bit of a lackluster response. What we really wanted to focus on more was what it came, you know, what she had to go through to get to that point. And then more so just what the ramifications were when she came to share this news and focus on the story that we had created. And Professor Houston hits Nomi with a reality check that she is mm -hmm. having wine with someone else and it <laughs> yeah. could never work. Considering the day and age that we're in, the power dynamic, it just is something that probably would be frowned upon. And it really sparked like a lot of of rich debate in the room because there were some people that were like, well, technically she's legal, technically she's of age. If she wanted to do it and you were uh, outside of the confines of the university, then maybe some people might say it was okay. But I think across the board, we all kind of agreed that it was, it's a weird power dynamic when you're talking about a professor and a student. How do you think Anna would respond if Nomi shared that information of dating the older professor with Anna? I feel like Anna's grown up a little bit. Sophomore year, I think freshman year, she would have been a lot more close-minded to it. She, I think she's very much about following rules and she grew up a lot more conservative than everyone else. So I think she would have probably had an issue with it. But I think for her, she's going through a lot herself emotionally. Mm -hmm. She's probably a lot more open-minded and just happy to see her friend happy at this point. Why do you think it was important to show Zoe coming clean to the board? You know, the whole episode focused on consequences. And I think ultimately what it boiled down to was the ultimate consequence was having to stare herself in the mirror and realize that she was a cheater. And so I think her coming clean with the board was just a moment where she decided, you know what, I am going to be honest, be forthcoming, regardless of the consequences. Has anyone here cheated in school? Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> have you oh, gotten yeah. caught? Thank God, no. No? It would have been bad. Come on now, of course I, yes, absolutely. <laughs> what did you think about Dre's response to Zoe getting cut off financially? I'm not a parent, but if I were a parent, I agree with that because mm. you gotta teach kids a lesson somehow. You can't keep letting them get away with things because then they're gonna keep doing it. You, they have to learn somehow. Agree, that's the only way to stand on your own. You gotta pull out the leg that's uh, keeping you from you being able to handle things on your own. It's like she was very dependent, and so she, uh, birds gotta leave the nest at some point. Yeah, no, you have to instill a work ethic. You have to, you know, and in the, the case, we've, we've all watched Blackish, and we've seen, you know, Dre and Bo have provided an unbelievable blueprint for their children, and so Zoe's had it an easy ride. It's time, it's, we're, you know, it's time for her to, to step out there and decide what she's gonna do when forced to do it on her own. And how do you think Zoe finding out the way that Anna and Aaron mm. coming together, how is that gonna affect your friendship? Oh Who man, knows? I think Anna definitely went about it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. I don't I, think so. Of course you don't think so. I, I don't think you should ever not do something you want to do. Unfortunately for anybody, I think it's your life at the end of the day and what your happiness is, is your happiness. And some people, you know, you start living for other people and then they become, you can become dependent on them for your own happiness and you don't want that life. I don't think anybody wants that life. Yeah, but clearly Anna knew this was gonna hurt her feelings. And so you gotta think about yourself, but also think about other people's feelings and your friendships. Yeah. And so I think she should have talked to her about it way before things got too far. Cause she knows how Zoe is, that's friendship. Far, right. You know what I mean? Is there anything else we can expect to see in the next season? Any 
teasers you can drop? We're gonna continue to explore the fallout from the Anna, Aaron, Zoe kind of love triangle situation. We are going to continue to follow the arc of Zoe's fallout, what happens when she's forced to uh, take over her own finances. We have some really cool stuff where we explore the topic of black mental health and um, how that affects, you know, Cal U. Favorite moments from this week's episode? I love, love, love the moment with the girls all dressed uh, in that kind of fantasy pop where they're all dressed like the professors. And it's just stylistically, I thought that was such an awesome moment that the director, Eric Dean Stanton, captured. And your favorite part? Uh, I think it's the last scene, the mm -hmm. where I spill the beans. Mm -hmm. I thought that was very fun to shoot, and I think it's just very, it just makes me want to see what happens. Mm -hmm. And I think that's always the goal in making a story. You want people to be invested, and I think that's a great way to end it. That's it from us. Thank you guys so much for coming in on the show. And thank you to everyone out there for tuning in on this season of Grownish. And thank you for hanging out with me, your girl, Maya Washington, on Grownish the Kickback. Hey. Hey. <laughs>